Welcome everybody to this live show. My name is Jose Manuel Guillén and today we are going to introduce you all the innovations in the version 22.1 of Yaltest. We've got more than 150 professionals working during the year to provide three versions of Yaltest. Hello Jose Manuel, this is Jesus Romero and in this 22.1 version in which uh, we have added many improvements and developments uh, makes Yaltest be the best multi-brand and multi-system diagnostic equipment for commercial, agricultural and of highway vehicles as well as material handling equipment and marine. Actually, Yaltest is the best option in diagnostics and that's because we've got coverage in more than 240 brands, 5,800 systems, excuse me, models actually, not systems, and 29,000 different systems, including in all of these brands and models, including technical information and wiring diagrams. All these numbers make Yaltest B the most complete and intuitive multi-brand diagnostic equipment in the market today. And now we are going to connect to different colleagues in the different uh, Kojali branches and CS offices all over the world. And first of all, about the coverage, we are going to introduce our colleague Marcus Obispo, which is right now in Houston, Texas and he's going to let us know every Yaltes CV innovations. So please, Marcos, you can join whenever you want. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Houston. Welcome to Texas. This is Marcos with Kojali USA. And today I'm here in the location of one of our customers because we wanted to introduce you some of the new stuff that we bring you in the 22.1 version of Yaltes Diagnostics for commercial vehicles. For example, uh, when it comes to camions, we're going to be able to perform advanced capabilities, uh, for example, the BGT installation and calibration in the new engines generation in the JHG21 for the X12 and X15 engines. If we want to Packard or International, we are going to be able to see uh, an improvement in the identification of the new variants and also we are going to see how this database of variants has increased in this new version. Also important, the technical information keeps improving. For example, we have the wiring schematics for uh, Volvo, for Mac and International, several models, not just for the system itself, but also for the full vehicle. Being able to see the wiring for the bodybuilders connectors and all the electrical connections across the, the track. When it comes to light duty vehicles, there are also uh, new stuff, uh, very interesting. For example, if we focus on Dodge Ram, from 2,500 and all the way up to, uh, to uh, 5,500, 5, uh, 5, sorry, we're gonna be able to connect to the Cummins uh, 6.7 engine to perform diagnostics and also advanced functionalities like bidirectional controls, okay? So many new stuff, just come with me. I'm gonna share my screen with you in the software and we are gonna learn more. Okay guys, so we're already in the software and uh, once here uh, we're going to see just a few of the new things that we bring you in the 22.1 version. It is impossible to show you everything but at least uh, you will go home uh, having an idea of everything that that is new and uh, and just checking how it looks like. Um, if you remember, I just told you about the new wiring schematics for the full vehicle. So this is just one example uh, for an R807 International from International. So here in the wiring schematics, you can see all the different models and uh, all the content here. And uh, you can jump uh, to the different sections by clicking here. For example, if you want to check the bodywork module, uh, you just come here and Jaltes is gonna show you whatever it is. Um, what is interesting here is that um, we have included um, the reference of the cables and also the color of the cable as uh, specified by the by the manufacturer. Okay, so also you can use the search bar uh, to, for example, look for content. So let's say that you are looking for uh, switches. So you can just come here and to the page 16 and then the switches are gonna come up, okay? Also, as you can see, you can make bigger or smaller the wiring schematics and even you can increase the size of the screen by uh, clicking on this arrow so you have a better experience during the visualization so that's pretty much customizable 
all right so that is one of the um, the most interesting things that I, I would like to highlight uh, considering uh, or regarding technical information also if we go to uh, other brands or manufacturers uh, we we can see for example in Bendix um, we included the new uh, tire pressure monitoring system that is uh, that is going to be there for both sides, the trailer and and the tractor uh, side. Okay, so once here you will have diagnostics uh, capabilities, of course, but not just that. You can also change parameters, uh, check systems, uh, and so on. So. And, and what is more important, probably the monitoring in this particular system, so you can monitor uh, pressures and also temperatures. Uh, for example, uh, if you come here to parameters, uh, you will be able to uh, display or modify all these parameters, and you can you can set up your alarms uh, for for the pressure and for the temperature of your tires. Okay, so that's something that you are going to be able to do it here so different warning signal levels as you can see uh, you can set it up on and off and the same thing with the with the temperature okay so that's pretty cool more things uh, i'm gonna go to camions uh, if you remember i just told you that for the new engines generation uh, jhg 21 uh, particularly for the x12 and x15 uh, like a 12 liters and 15 liters version, uh, you're gonna find uh, the new new calibration procedures. Uh, let me go here to the X series, X series, and then uh, we go to X12 and this control unit, or also the X15 control unit. Uh, that oh sorry, uh, the the 2450 control unit for the 15 liters engine. So if we go inside. We're gonna see these uh, BGT uh, procedures that we we just talked before. Uh, so you will have the the three steps process. First of all, the compatibility test. So you can uh, you can make sure that the um, the actuator of the BGT that you are installing is uh, compatible, and that's a procedure that you need to carry out before. Also, uh, you have the um, the installation procedure and the calibration procedure, as you can see here. Okay. Um, same thing with uh, the trade diesel, the natural competitor in this uh, size size of engines, uh, and also in the new generation of engines, the DDEC twenty uh, engine generations. Uh, we have added more new references uh, references in both sites in the uh, in the uh, after treatment side and also in the engine side okay um so that's basically some of the new things that uh, i wanted to show you here on the on the software guys of course there is much more uh, remember that you always have the pdf document in your uh, users area uh, whenever you log in and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be working to to keep improving the the software as we do every version so guys i i just hope that you enjoyed and uh, see you soon in more uh, jaldes uh, jaldes videos bye bye Thank you very much, Marcos, for your live connection in the USA. And now let's go uh, to talk about the commercial vehicles innovations with Jose Maria Regrillo, Global Track Trailer and Bus uh, Diagnostic Manager. He's now in a, a track workshop in Spain. Hello, Jose Maria. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure for me to be here today with all of you in this great and educational event. My name is Jose Maria Regrillo, Commercial Vehicle Diagnostic Manager and also Product Manager for North American Market with more than 10 years of experience in the tracking industry with Kojali. Today, we are going to see one of the most relevant and outstanding features that the Jaltes 22.1 version releases. In this case, we are going to replace this APM module in this Renault Euro 6 track. This new coverage also applies for the Volvo Euro 6 tracks. Thanks to the comprehensive and embedded technical information and also easy to use user interface that Jaltes provides, this complex process will take just a few and clear and easy steps. 
it will be like a walk in the park. Let's get this started. In the suitcase, we will find the vehicle communication interface, the Altus link. For this advanced functionality, the USB cable will be required. And finally, we will need the OBD cable and also we will use the extension cable. Let's go to connect all these items on the vehicle. In first place, we will connect the OBD2 with the extension cable. And the other part of the extension cable must be connected to the Zaltes link. The USB cable has to be connected over here. And everything is set to connect the OBD cable to the diagnostic port of the vehicle. Make sure that the key is on and connect the USB cable to the laptop. Alright, so everything is set in order to connect to the vehicle with Jaltes. Let's go to see. Let's go to select the vehicle. In this case, we will identify the vehicle through the VIN number. So, as you can see in the software, we will pull out automatically the VIN number. This will identify the specific vehicle that we have. In this case, our Renault T-Series version 4. There we go. So once we have uh, selected and identified the model, we will be able to select the system that we are interested in. In this case, as we said, we will replace the APM module. Let's go to filter by compressed air processing and we will see the APM module. In case that you have any doubt about the location of the component that we are going to replace, you can go to the system technical data. In system technical data, in the component section, you will find where the specific component is located. There we go. As we can see, that is the specific location of the component that we are going to replace. Coming back to the diagnosis menu, we can connect to the system and establish a bidirectional communication. Hitting the connect button to proceed. All right, we have established a real communication with the control unit. So in case that we are going to replace the APM module, we need to go to the parameter section. Remember that we have over here a search in order if you are interested to look for some specific action, like for example, the replacement of the control unit. Select parameters and we will see the specific bidirectional functionality that we are looking for. Make sure and read carefully all the instructions that Jaltes provides. As you can see, make sure that the new module is compatible with the previous module that you have installed on your vehicle. An important note, as the Jaltes will notify us, is this action is under SPR mode and USB mode and internet connection is required. In case that you don't meet one of those requirements, Zaltes will prompt a message indicating that information. Proceed with the action once all the initial conditions are met. In the first place, we need to have the all module connected and the initial condition is the engine must be stopped and the vehicle park. So we are good to proceed. In the next step, we are going to read the ECU memory of the old module that we have detected a fault and we need to replace. As you know, one of the most common issues is the replacement of the EPM module. So it's quite common that during the vehicle life to replace this specific component. That is one of the key 
points of this relevant feature that we are going to release today and we are going to see uh, in this case study. All right, so all the information for the previous module has been gathered and we can continue with the process as Yaltes indicates. Click on the Asset button and continue. Now, we need to turn off the ignition and connect the new module. So let's go to turn off the ignition for safety purposes. And we will install the new module. Let's go to connect the new module on the vehicle. For the easy reprogramming, it's just enough to install the electrical side. At the end of the reprogramming, we will install the rest of the pneumatic connections. So, we need to unplug the electrical connector from the old module and plug in in the new one. All right. Everything's set, so we can go back with Zaltes and follow the next instructions. As we can see, turn the ignition key on and continue with the actions. So let's go to turn the key back to the on position and continue with the replacement. The next step will take up to five minutes as Yaltes is warning us. So make sure that you have enough battery of your computer during this process. Once the reprogramming has been completed, we install the pneumatic side connections and we make sure that all the errors have been gone. Additionally, we will check the ECU data and we will carry out a system check over the system. So click on the diagnosis menu and as we can see there are no errors stored in the ECU memory. In ECU data we can see that all the information is correctly stored and finally if we go to the system checks we can carry out this specific check in order to make sure that all the parameters and values are within the correct range of operation. Continue, and as we can see, all the values of the different parameters are correct and working according as expected. So, once again, we have seen one of the multiple added values that Zaltes offers in order to make sure that our fleets and vehicle customer run with the highest degree of uptime. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next upcoming Zaltes case studies and events. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much, Jose Maria, for joining in this live show. Actually, the innovations that you just introduced about the APM in Renault and Volvo was awesome. It was very demanded from all of our customers. And I'm also checking the rest of innovations in this document. And it's worth to say dynamic visualization of the system display, which allows you to see the real measurements when you are doing, for example, uh, the, you are working on the hydraulics in the AGV machinery or you are working, for example, in the hydraulics of the construction equipment, you will see how everything is being moved through the screen of your gel test. Um, apart from this, we've got many other innovations that we are going to see right now.
Let's continue with the software innovations and now it is the turn of Jaltes AGV for agricultural vehicles. For that, we are going to connect to Oscar Ortiz, who is now in the middle of the field uh, with that Jaltes to diagnose a tractor. Go ahead, Oscar. Hello everyone, I'm Oscar, the AGV Development Team Manager and here we are in Campo de Cristana in Spain in the middle of the countryside with these two tractors, the New Holland T6 and the Massey Ferguson 5700 Dyna 4 model. Here we are in order to talk about the new development on 22.1, like in general the, the calibration of the steering sensor, also in FPT uh, engines final chair 4 like the EDC 17 CV41, the troubleshooting of the roll codes, and here in this tractor we have developed the, the modification of the level codes like the AA parameter. Okay, if we go to the tractor, here in JAL test we select tractor. After that we will go to to go to Massey Ferguson and select the family 700 series. Here in this series we will go to the 5700 Dyna 4 series. In this case we want to change the Dyna 4 Auto 25 parameters, we will connect to the system and here we have the parameters with the modified parameters. In the first step we will have the parameters help in order to tell that you only have to change the parameters if you need to that, not, not for another reason. After that, we have an explanation because these parameters correspond to the configuration of the tractor. Okay? And how to identify every parameter in, a, in the label. If we continue, we will go to the initial condition of the process, which take the engine must be stopped, the parking brake has to be activated, and every, and every of that. These parameters are, uh, are stick on some part of the fuse box and also near the ECU of the tractor and it says the calibration with the, with the letters like AA for example and also with the number of the parameter like, like we will show. Okay, this is now loading from the ECU and here we have all the parameters. Here we have the, in the AA is the vehicle mode, also the tractor asset configuration and all the parameters. If we go to, to the modification, give it a second to go there. Okay, here we can modify all of these parameters from the vehicle model, which is a new development, changing, changing from the, this tractor to another model and also we can change, for example, in this case, the proportional ground speed power takeoff is not in the correct uh, parameter because in this case is a mechanical one. So we select mechanic and we continue to the process to write everything in the ECU of the tractor, in this case in the Autotronic 5 ECU. Now we wait to write everything, also to, to read if everything is done OK. And now everything is right in the ECU, so we will continue to take all the data. Now, as we can see, the parameter has been changed from electric to mechanic one. And we continue and we can work with the tractor. Thank you very much for watching. This one and new development will be on 22.1. And now I let you with my colleague. That was Awesome, Oscar. Thank you very much for joining. Um, pretty impressive, actually, don't you think so? Well, uh, with all of these innovations, we've got also new features, including 22.1 for agricultural vehicles, as you can see in this video right now.
another Jaltes project already covered. And now we are going to talk about Jaltes of Highway, the best diagnostic equipment for construction vehicles. For that, uh, let's connect to Jorge Verdejo, who is now waiting for us in Miami. Hello, Jorge. Hello, everyone. I'm here from Miami. We are right now in Meco, Miami, one of our partners here in the city. And today I'm here, uh, well, my name is Jorge. I'm here to introduce you the new updates of Chaltes 22.1. Uh, we are here in this location where we have a bunch of Sunny with Cummins engines, John Deere equipment and Caterpillar. And I came here because uh, some of the, of the actions that we have in, in the software, uh, and for me, my top three, are uh, ac actions and tests that we can carry out in this location. So, for example, among the new things that we have in, in, in this uh, version are three new manufacturers of the off-highway industry, like, for example, Money to Walk, that is one of the American largest manufacturer of, of cranes. Uh, and also, for example, we have the new cooler stage five engines that are very popular, for example, in G JCB equipment. Uh, also, we have new actions for after treatment. For example, in compact excavator of Komatsu, we have uh, regions there developed in this new version. Uh, we have also the EGR calibration for the Scania engines that we can find, for example, in uh, Dusan equipment. And among my favorite uh, actions that we have, for example, are the calibrations of the uh, Caterpillar graders transmissions. For this reason, I'm here in the software where we are going to uh, connect to this grader uh, that has a Caterpillar engine, of course, and we are going to carry out the, that transmission. These transmissions are very important uh, anytime we are working with this type of equipment because uh, anytime we replace a component or we do any actions that affect the transmission, the performance of the machine can be affected. For that reason, it's very important to have a diagnostics tool like Jaltes in which we can carry out this type of calibration. So come here and I'm going to show you how we can do this transmission calibration. All right, so in order to carry out this calibration, we have to select heavy duty equipment. Then we are going to go for Caterpillar. And then we have to go through the model. In this case, it's a, a 12M series a motor grader. So we are going to click on this model, 10 series. And from here, you can see all the systems that uh, we cover in, in, in Jaltes in this specific uh, model. We can do a system scan. So I'm going to go for that. We select the connector that in this case is the 9 pin connector. We perform the system scan. And in the meantime that we are waiting until all the systems are detected by Jaltest, we are going to have access to this menu on the left that, as most of you know, is where we can find uh, wiring diagrams, uh, maintenance uh, intervals, information about the components or about the different tightening torques and specifications of our systems. I'm going to stop now the system scan because we have detected already the transmission. So, the, in order to carry out the calibration, we have to select the system and click on Connect. Once here, we have the Diagnostics menu. It's going to be the same regardless of the manufacturers, as always. And from here, we have the different uh, new developments. For example, if we click on Actuate Components, we have uh, different checks that allow us to understand and, and test the, uh, per, uh, the transmission performance and the communication between the ECM and the different components. So we have all these different uh, actua actuations. And then, of course, the calibration that I mentioned before. So for that, we are going to click on calibration, transmission calibration. We introduce our expert mode. And then we only have to uh, read the instructions. Uh, Jaltes always work in three steps. So the first one is information about the actions that we are about to carry out. In this case, this tra uh, transmission calibration. Uh, as, as you can see, is every time we need to calibrate components that have been replaced or solved, malfunction it by the wear of the different system components. So that means that if we are using a lot of this motor grader, after a time we are going to need to do these uh, three calibrations. All right. Of course, we have to pay attention to the safety measurements. And then we continue. Our second step is going to be the initial conditions. And as soon as we get all the ticks about uh, engine speed, the uh, parking brake, temperature, and all that, we can continue. And then in this case, it's going to be an automatic process that we can check in graphs to see how is performing our transmission. 
and Jaltest is going to calibrate it this automatically. So the only thing we have to do is wait, and the calibration process is completed. All right. So it's very easy. Uh, we are always uh, we are always supported by the tool with all the information and the the all the things that we may need during the during the transmission calibration. All right. So this is uh, the one of the new uh, updates that we have in 22.1 in of highway, but there are many more. For example, in Caterpillar we have a uh, the central computer ECM, the MCM for excavators 300 series, with the many parameter settings there that we can adjust and, and, and customize the performance of our excavators, uh, thanks to Jaltest. Also, there are uh, well new updates in Cummins of Highway. Uh, also, for example, in John Deere with the Bulldozer 950J and 1050J, we have uh, coverage on the Liber Lidec 1 engines that uh, you can find in those uh, John Deere bulldozers and among the capabilities that for example we have in, in that uh, ECM are the uh, service regeneration of the DPF and also the reset of the EGR so this is a very 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 important update as well because uh, thanks to that we are going to be able to uh, maintenance and keep uh, our liver engines working without depending on, on third parts, parties, okay? So anytime we have a, a machine that uh, has this type of, of liver engines, with Jaltes, you are gonna be able to do that resets and regions. Well, so this is everything from my side. Uh, there are many more in, in Jaltes of Highway. Uh, so I invite you to, to have a look in, in, in our content where we discuss these uh, updates. Um, well, I, I left you with the rest of the team. Thank you very much and uh, we keep in touch very soon. Thank you. Bye bye Jorge, thank you very much for joining us today. I see you have a very nice weather there in Miami. I feel somehow jealous. <laughs> well, apart from these innovations in off highway, we have many other ones. Just uh, pay attention to this video right now. Let's continue with this uh, Jaltes around the world tour. Let's talk about uh, Jaltes MHG, specialized diagnostic equipment for material handling equipment. We connect now with our colleague uh, Jose Miguel of Highway Product Manager. Go ahead, Jose Miguel, and let us know what's new in this version. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, my name is uh, Jose Miguel Sánchez, I'm the of Highway Product Manager. Today we are here at the Coyali headquarters, uh, particularly we are at the uh, Coyali warehouse. Uh, with us we have some of the material handling equipment that we work with here inside in Coyali. This is important because, as you know, uh, today we are going to present the uh, material handling equipment 22.1 uh, innovation. Particularly, I want to present one of the uh, most interesting uh, functionalities, which is uh, hydraulic systems uh, modification of parameters. Uh, if you come with me, we will see different kind of uh, stuff and also we will see different kind of brands. Uh, these two ones are uh, two forklifts. Uh, the yellow one is a uh, Jan Henrik and the uh, red one is a uh, Linde uh, forklift. Next to the Linde forklift we have a pallet jack. In that case our pallet jack as you can see is yellow so this is a uh, Jan Henrik uh, ones. And finally, this is the, the machine in which uh, we want to, to show the, the new innovation, is this uh, Linder retractable uh, forklift. So, 
This kind of for list has two important systems. One is the translation system and the other one is the hydraulic system. Uh, today we are going to speak about the hydraulic system. Regarding the hydraulic system is uh, responsible of the movement of the uh, mast and also of the movement of the uh, forks. Uh, depending on the activity of, of these uh, machines, we need to adjust the speed of the mast and also the speed of the uh, forks. In that case, uh, this, uh, this machine has uh, the mast divided in three sections. So, one of the modification of parameters it requires is the uh, trans, uh, transition between uh, the section one and the section two into the mass and also the section two and the section three. This is one of the most important things. And the other important thing is regulate the maximum speed of this uh, mast. If you come with me, you will see that uh, this Linde is an uh, air uh, 14x uh, model but this is this is not the only information that we can find in this uh, machine inside of the cabin we will see a plate in this plate we will have more information uh, particularly uh, here we see this type of uh, machine is an R14x and also the model of the machine is one 116 uh, model. So, by uh, selecting a material handling equipment module into the software, uh, we will uh, have available the different brands. Uh, particularly in this version, we cover 50, uh, 57 brands uh, of this material handling equipment uh, business. This is a a Linde machine, so by selecting Linde brand, we will uh, get into the families and uh, models menu. This is an R series, so by filtering with R series, we will find three different models. Uh, this one we saw at the plate, this is a 116, so we need to select this model. When we select the model, uh, appear a uh, warning information uh, in order to take uh, in account some safety considerations uh, regarding the electrical equipment. Because I didn't tell you before, but all of this stuff uh, work indoor, so it means are powered by electrical um, energy. So. Uh, when we get into the model, uh, we will have the system menu. Uh, particularly, we are going to select the uh, hydraulic system because this is the system in which I want to show you the innovation. So, by clicking in Connect and selecting the model, which is a 3 series model, we will have the diagnosis menu. In the first place, I recommend always, we need to make a diagnosis in order to read the ECU memory. And to be sure, before modify any parameter, we don't have any active fault code. So, as you can see, right now, we don't have any, um, any active fault codes, active and non-active. We don't have fault code. So, perfect. Uh, when we have checked that we don't have any active fault code into the diagnosis memory, so we are able to proceed to modify the different parameters into the hydraulic system. So, by clicking in parameters buttons, we can see at the screen that we have divided parameters in two groups. One is the mass group and the other one is the uh, fork group. By clicking in mass group, we will see, uh, by clicking in, in display parameter, we will see the settings uh, that we have now in our machine. As we can see here, we have 90% of mass racing position. Also, uh, regarding the, the transition in, uh, between the, the sections, uh, we have set 50% of speed between 
the section 1 and the section 2 and 35% between uh, section 2 and section 3. This is very typically uh, because of safety reason have lower limitations into the uh, section between section 2 and section uh, 3. Okay, right now we know what's the uh, actual uh, settings but uh, before modify any parameters I think the best thing is is to see how is moving the forklift uh, between the transition between the mast 1 and mast 2. If we leave the four, we will see now the four is slow, the move of the, as you can see, now uh, the four start moving uh, with a high speed, after that uh, the speed is going to be slower and after pass the transition between the mast, the section 1 and the section 2 into the mast, the speed is increased again. Uh, if we go backward, if we down the, the, the fork, we will see the same behavior. A stop, perfect. The mast has a, a, a higher speed when uh, the fork is moving into the same section, but when the fork is going to change between section 1 and section 2, uh, the speed is lower. So. Let's go to modify this uh, parameter. So now by clicking in modify parameter and by clicking in elevation, we are going to modify the transition speed from section one and section two. So after I set the initial conditions, now is set in 50%, we are going to decrease to from 50 to 20%. And after that, we are going to see what is happening. So, uh, at the screen says the process has been finished, so everything is okay. And we will accept. Again, we go to display parameters. And now, and now, the new setting is 20%. So again, we are going to see what's the move. Now you can see the deceleration of the mass and again goes faster. So this is uh, fantastic. So now it's important to put again the maximum, the, the setting, the parameter in the same number or value. So now it's set up uh, 20% and now we are going to set at 50%. So 50% it's uh, done. Also I would like to set another parameter which is the maximum speed. Uh, before we have seen uh, uh, how speedy is moving the, the fork during the movement over the during the movement of uh, one section and also uh, we, we saw the speed between the movement of the different section. Now we are going to modify the maximum speed. So in general we are going to modify the speed of the fork during the movement over the mast. By clicking in a set, we will see initial condition, everything is okay. By clicking in a set again, now we have the 90% uh, percent, uh, percent of the movement set. So, by clicking in decrease, we are going to put up 50%. We click in a set again, and the process has finished. We will check into the uh, display parameters and mass racing position, maximum speed, 50%. So the setting has been changed. And again, we will see what's the movement. So the first, the, well, now the forks at, are at the top. It's better to down the forks at the bottom. So please down the fork to the bottom because this parameter hasn't been modified.
and now stop and now we are going to move again to the top so as you can see the movement now is much more slower so uh, again it's important to set the parameters into the same settings that were uh, before so we will click again into maximum speed we will set and after a set initial conditions are the same we will increase oops sorry this is not the maximum speed yeah will set to the 90%. The process has finished and our forward lift now has the same configuration that has before and is ready to work. Well, uh, this was one of the most uh, important and useful innovation launched in this version 22.1. Of course, we have much more innovation that you will find in this uh, new version and now uh, that's all from my side now uh, my colleagues we will continue thank you very much and see you soon thank you very much jose miguel it looks awesome um Jaltes for material handling equipment is just something incredible it has been in the market since one year more or less and is one of the most outstanding diagnostic tool in the market right now actually we can connect with electrical forklifts we can connect with uh, telescopic handlers we can connect with aerial walking platforms crazy one of our uh, colleges just let me know during your presentation that uh, Jaltes has been recently awarded as one of the most outstanding diagnostic tools for material handling equipment. Actually, incredible. So, apart from this, uh, Jesus, we've got plenty of new functions as well in this version 22.1. And I would like to let you all know with this video all the new things included in this version 22.1. Finally, let's go with our last project, Yaltes Marine. We are going to talk to Ignacio Martinez, Marine Sales Director in the USA. Hello, Ignacio. How is everything in that beautiful Miami port? Hello. How are you doing? This is Ignacio Martinez from Kitchell USA. I'm your Marine Sales Director. I'm in this great spot in sunny Florida, in Miami, more precisely in Coral Gables. I was doing some testings and I thought it was a great spot to do this video. We're gonna highlight some of the updates. I cannot explain everything because we don't have time these three, five minutes uh, that I have. But let me go to my computer because I found this great table. So it's gonna be great, okay? So I think I'm broadcasting my computer as well. Uh, and I'm gonna show you three updates, okay? Today, I'm gonna highlight three updates on the inboard side, okay? Number one. Yamaha, you know that we have Yamaha on the outboard side and also the jet ski or watercraft side. Now also on the inboard side, Yamaha, uh, they also manufacture the vessel. They have 20 type of vessels, but they only have five different engines for those 20 type of models. Okay, we cover all of them, 100% dealer level coverage and also technical information. So that's, that's great. Okay, so now we go to number two. Uh, MAN, you know that this is an all-mix and all models and all systems diagnostic solution. It's not just the engine. We also cover calibration and diagnostics for the levers. Uh, we have it for Mercury, Mercruiser, Yamaha, Suzuki, Evinrude, uh, Comment if they use the SmartGuard technology. Okay, and right now we have the Marex for the Common Rail MAN engines. 
um, we just access one of our Comorilla engines, we click here, and we when we click connect, we're gonna open the technical releases. This is a manual process, we have to go to the panel, and we need to follow the instructions, get the codes, get back to the software, type that code, and you will get all that diagnostics information, okay? So, very nice for our MAN user, this new functionality, this new brand, and this new model, okay? So, uh, third, last but not least, third, Volvo Fenta, okay? One of the greatest diesel uh, manufacturers for sure. We have some 2021 new developments that they had, we already have it, so you can see that we have a great commitment with the new makes and models. The EMS systems, it's mostly found on the d 4 and the D6, but we can also find it on the IPS side, on the D6, D8 and D13, and also uh, besides D4 and D6, the D13 as well, okay, outside the IPS. Here when you access, you know that we have the EECU engine system, now we have the EMS system, okay? Uh, we can connect, same process, you can connect and you access inside. We have dealer level diagnostics with all your bidirectional functionalities, okay? For example, I can access my system check, you have cylinder cutouts, you have injector bus test, cylinder uh, compression, cylinder balance, and so on, okay? And story and something that's very good, I believe, for the industry, for the environment, for the technology, uh, this, EMS systems, we can have an add-on for the AdBlue, okay? This is something pretty new on the marine industry, at least in Europe. All the boats are gonna be used in rivers and lakes. They have to have this system, the AdBlue system, okay? So, um, when you buy the engine, you don't have the AdBlue if you don't order it, but you can do the add-on in the future very easily, okay? So I think that's very good for the environment and that we are catching up uh, at some point, you know, with other industries like commercial ag and you know, highway where it's a system where it's uh, very used, okay? So I think those three updates were great. Thank you to our growing and growing customer base. Uh, we do all this work for you guys, so you have all the solutions that you need on, on your daily task. And also thank you to our colleagues in the engineering and development department in our headquarters because they do a great job. Uh, they work in the shadows, you don't see them in a daily basis, but they make this happen, okay? So thank you very much, and I will let any of my other colleagues to continue uh, with, um, with this connection, okay? Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ignacio. I really, really, really like all of these innovations in Doge Altes Marines, but please make me a favor. The next time you are in one of these vessels, let me know. Let me know in advance and I will be there with you. Apart from these innovations, Jesus, we've got another ones which we also would like to introduce to our customers and our followers. So just watch out. Before we end this presentation, we would like to be the first to announce you a new Yaltes project. Well, Jose Manuel, what can you tell us about this? Well, that's actually, Jesus, a great innovation. We are going to be able to see in this new project called Yaltes InfoWeb, all the technical information, including Yaltes, in the web. So it's not going to be needed a hardware like this one to check all of this technical information. Just using internet, laptop, or a smartphone, or whatever, and you will be able to see this technical information. 
Thank you very much for your assistance and please remember to follow us in all the social networks and stay tuned for the next Shaltest 22.2 version in June. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Hope you enjoyed this live show. And see you soon in the next Shaltest video. Bye bye.